Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brenna Rose. A monumental day for victims of domestic abuse in our state. The Oklahoma Survivors Act, which bolsters protections for victims of domestic abuse, is now in effect. The Smart Justice Act goes into effect today. It's probably the first one that's come across the desk, I would assume. Our cameras were rolling this morning for what is believed to be the first application filed for consideration under this new law. Yeah. It applies to sentences going forward and retroactive cases, meaning current incarcerated domestic violence victims whose convictions stem from the abuse they suffered could potentially have their sentences shortened. The legislation co-authored by Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat, House Majority Floor Leader John Eccles, and 16 other lawmakers is largely a bipartisan effort. This one's a no-brainer, though. Expe women and men can both be victims of domestic violence, but just for ease of the conversation, uh, women in Oklahoma experience domestic violence at rates that are just unacceptable and out of out of the norm for the country. There's no reason in a state like Oklahoma, our people are awesome. We've got to make sure that those victims of domestic violence are taken seriously, that their stories are heard, and that we take it into account. Evidence of the abuse, including court records, protective orders, or law enforcement records, is needed to be considered under this law. Today, lawyers representing April Wilkins, who has served more than 26 years for killing a man she had three protective orders against, filed an application in her case. April Wilkins was a victim of horrific domestic violence and sexual violence for over two years. And now she's been a victim of the criminal justice system for over 26 years, and we're ready for her to come home. Wilkins, who is a 54-year-old grandmother, was found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison for the 1998 murder of her ex-fiancee, Terry Carlton. She's never denied pulling the trigger, but she claimed it was in self-defense. Wilkins shot Carlton eight times and later told police that he raped her, handcuffed her, held her at gunpoint, and threatened to kill her. April's been in prison for more than 26 years simply for the act of surviving. We are filled with hope today that the courts will finally get the opportunity to hear the full scope and measure of the abuse that she suffered, something that did not occur during her trial. Tulsa County District Attorney's Office says it has received Wilkins' application, noting in a statement that the initial request is sent to the district judge and does not yet trigger the participation of the district attorney. Once the district judge determines whether Wilkins is eligible to apply, further settings may become necessary. If that happens, we will bring forward whatever relevant information is necessary for the trial court to make its decision. Wilkins' application is one of 13. The Oklahoma Center for Law and Justice plan on filing. We will make sure to keep you updated on all of these cases as they play out through the judicial system.